moving away from integrations, uh, we're going to start talking a little bit about API. Now, this is a really good and complicated area, but API, if you don't know what it is, it is uh, Applications Programming Interface. And what this means is that um, it is the medium in which cloud-based programs allow you to connect information from one program here to another program here. And they're used for a variety of purposes. And usually um, API exists because many customers in you know the global community of manufacturers or any e-based business in general is going to have specific workflows between very specific tools that are very custom problems that have to be built by a development team or built by a developer in-house. And the API exists to allow that cloud connectivity between those different types of systems, between an individual account here and an individual account here. And so there is like a key that accesses your database on this program and a key that accesses your database on this program. And then there's a set of functions in between that build them together to serve a business function. And that's really the point of API uh, altogether and to begin with. And because of API, there's an endless amount of flexibility inside of uh, any cloud-based platform that has a good API connection or a good API gateway. So what happens is in cases of businesses, that you know small businesses like to use native integrations from common uh big market suppliers you know like shopify and etc is, is a common market supplier they can have a native integration with a lot of applications and it's press a button and it works and then you have the cloud connecting type of services which we covered in the integrations page and those allow people to solve workflow issues that don't require any coding. Maybe like somebody who's somewhat competent can solve those issues. But on the API side, um, typically this is when you get involved where you need development services or you yourself are a developer and need to solve very specific problems. So API is actually a pro feature where we, we'll talk more about it further down the line, but as an introduction, um, you can, when you upgrade, you can actually generate an API key, which is used to build that building block between those programs. We also support something called webhooks, and um, it's a little bit different than API, uh, and it's complicated to explain. API is more like a an execution of a certain type of process, which would include posting, putting, deleting, or reading something so these are like the main actions that api supports when you are trying to uh, manipulate data on another system outside of outside of um, katana for example and webhooks on the other hand are kind of like what they call a subscription service meaning that um when a change happens in an outside program it might send a notification that you are subscribing to in order for your program to make some sort of change or adjustment to use that information in a way that's valuable to your business. And API keys and webhooks are both supported in Katana, which is a major part of what we call our platform approach, meaning that we build out an API ecosystem that is very, very easy to integrate with. And that is, of course, in itself, a, uh, a way to attract more customers. So going further into these areas, um, when we don't have a native integration or we have a cloud connector that cannot support an integration that a customer might need, then they would hire a developer. So uh, developers can visit our Katana API page, which has all of the API reference material that's used by developers in order to help them understand what data points they can capture to make decisions about how to build a program that communicates with Katana and another system. So this is quite important for, um, for our customers that are looking to 
uh, do some in-house development, for example. Since we're on the topic of in-house development, and this is the getting started guide, I um, want to specify that Katana has a partners network. And API is very much related to our partners network because in our partners network, we've got a couple of different types of software providers, or sorry, service providers who do custom development on behalf of our clients. So we would recommend uh, channel partners who do custom development to solve certain types of needs. And also in some cases, we have uh, what we call implementation partners who help customers implement Katana for their needs. So they serve both a consultative function as well as a technical function. So the API process, uh, so, so API is also very much um, not just for the developers, but also for partners who are from the technical side. And um, to cover a little bit about that, it would be good to just show it while we're on this page, is that um, our partners program is located right up here in the resource section where we have our partner directory. And you can see based on region and based on partner type. So integration partners are the ones that would use our API to do custom development. And the implementation partners are the ones that would probably do a little bit more than just that. They provide consultative services for businesses. They also have probably some technical expertise and they also might be doing things related to um, you know, helping a customer get set up with their Katana account so they can take it forward. And you can simply go through this list and check out the different partners that we support as well as have within our network. And we use this to leverage uh, the ability of um, customers being able to be successful with the adoption of the um, Katana platform. <laughs>